Some French uh, books and some French sources they offer that uh, after e4, e6, d4, d5, uh, knight c3, bishop b4, knight e2, black attacks the center immediately with the move knight c6. Uh, that's a viable option for black. Against this, I'm going to suggest the move a3, immediately harassing this bishop. And uh, if uh, black now takes on c3, knight takes c3 and takes on e4, we are back into the line that we have uh, just seen at uh, the first chapter. Uh, but they usually retreat the bishop on a5 after a3. After which, I think it's uh, generally advisable to play b4 and to try somehow to exclude this bishop from the game. Black needs to go bishop b6. And we develop the bishop on b2. It's slightly unusual, but uh, the bishop is less vulnerable on b2 than on e3, because on e3 sometimes uh, black is just arriving with the knight on g4 and uh, attacks it uh, with tempo. So after bishop b2, black has a choice how exactly to develop his knight, either on f6, on e7, or even on, on h6. Knight h6 seems a bit artificial, and we can uh, simply proceed uh, with uh, the development, say g3, d takes e4, knight takes uh, e4, and uh, after knight f5, the simplest is uh, c3, just keeping this bishop uh, in in the cage, and after that we can uh, develop the bishop, finish the development, castle, defend this uh, d4 square with our pieces, to finally start uh, strangling the bishop to death, you know, with c4 and c5. Uh, besides knight h6, the other moves that uh, make more sense. Knight e7 is one of them. Uh, knight e7 we can meet with uh, g3. A short castling. Bishop g2. We just develop our pieces. And uh, after a5 we play b5. We do not we do not trade on a5 naturally to create weak pawns in our camp and also to let free this bishop from b6. Knight a7 short castling, d takes e4, we can also, we can just take back with uh, the bishop, and uh, white is better developed, just have a look at these pieces, they do not impress too much, and uh, white was better in the game, uh, Vesterine and against Akison, just some more moves to show how uh, Heike managed to create a decisive attack after queen d3, knight takes d4, Bishop takes h7 check, king h8, rook a d1, e5, bishop was uh, dropped back to e4, again black is having some uh, problems with the development, he went bishop g4, but after knight takes d4, what he did to take this rook on d1 was a crash or mistake, and uh, white won after queen takes d1, Queen g5, seemingly defending everything on the king's flank, but forgetting about this move, bishop c1, and uh, he had to resign on move number 19. Okay, knight e7 is one option, and another option here for black is knight to f6, seemingly more active, immediately putting pressure against the center. We need uh, to share it with the move e5, knight g4. Now you have to be very careful, especially when you see a knight coming on g4. Maybe our opponent is thinking something of something very bad for us. If it's, um, our opponents can have cruel intentions with knights like that. Concretely here, if we um, if we go with the normal development with g3, this will be a mistake because we are dropping down an important pawn. And that one, and the pawn on f2 is hanging. So we have to pay attention about this uh, knight on g4, and uh, we should also pay attention about this uh, bishop on b6. Even though it is uh, it is in box for the time being, it still has some influence against our pawn on b2. Therefore, we play knight a4, short castling here. Knight xc5 is not working because we just uh, take the bishop first and after that we take the knight. 
also some moves like queen f6 are not are not really too challenging for us we will just develop our pieces with the tempo with g3 and uh, the move short castling can be answered the simplest we can uh, get rid of this bishop knight takes b6 a takes b6 and uh, make use of the fact this knight is, that this knight is hanging to develop our pieces with knight f4 black cannot defend it easily with uh, queen g5 uh, with uh, queen uh, g5 in fact this is losing because of knight h3 and uh, the queen cannot defend uh, the knight all the time say queen g6 or queen f5 it doesn't really matter then we go bishop d3 and after queen h5 bishop e2 black is losing the knight uh, which means that knight f4 forces the knight to retreat and that knight can uh, say go to h6 to which we play bishop d3 and meet f6 with some normal development say g3 we have the bishop pair we have good development next we're going to castle and uh, the fact that we have expanded on the queen's flank is also in our favor if uh, black trades on e5 then uh, well okay we just prolong the diagonal for the bishop and after that we can simply castle advance this pawn watch out about the sacrifices on, on f4 though uh, maybe we will need first to defend this knight and after that do these things in any case uh, white has a very very nice advantage in this position